Have you ever wondered how people actually paint in the drawing software rather than doing cell shading, like anime style, I guess you could call it? Well, I'm going to show you how I do painting in Paint Tool Side. The first thing you're going to do is draw your sketch. So I do mine with like a darker purple. I don't really use black or gray because it can cause the piece to be uh, muddy uh, during the blending process. Once you're done with your sketch, you're going to go over to the layer type or the blending mode, I guess, and change that to shade and shine. You notice immediately it gets very vibrant looking and um, this is what I like to use to start blending my colors. After that, you go ahead and add your colors underneath and your light shading. So I'm just gonna do the face and maybe like the hair area just for the sake of this tutorial, just to keep it nice and quick and concise. Um, I sometimes lower the opacity on my um, line art, or not my line art, my sketch layer. And uh, I'll use this as kind of a, a blending thing as part of my process here. These are the three main brushes that I use, and I will post screenshots of them at the end of the video to show the settings for Paint Tool Psi 2. Um, they should be compatible with Paint Tool Psi 1, but they are not compatible with any other software, and I do not have dupes, unfortunately. So, um, but this same painting process itself can still be copied in any program. I also do the same thing with Procreate. So once I do this, and I kind of have my shadows for the most part kind of laid out, You'll see where these parts where the, the sketch kind of looks like it's starting to be colored by the layers underneath. And that's because we did the blending mode as shade and shine. I like doing this because I can use that color to go in if I'm on the right layer <laughs> to go in and, uh, you know, add shadow and add depth to my pieces. So I'll like select this color, but I still want it to be kind of vibrant, so I'll just adjust it slightly and I'll go off of that. And then when it comes time to actually refining the piece, I will go on top of the sketch layer and I will use this color that I provided between the layers blending together and that's how I refine the piece. So. I'm really awful at explaining. So I hope that this is helpful. But like, I'll go in here. Let's let's do the mouth as a great example here. So I'll go in here with the mouth, and I'll lay down my lip color. There we go. <laughs> I'll lay down my lip color, and then I see these colors that are kind of. Um, sitting around the piece like this and and these are great colors for me to go in and use for the shading on the lips and then i use the alt key to color pick and then when the colors are so close that they're like meeting i use that color to blend it the process is faster when i'm not explaining it but this is how I do all of my pieces. And I just take the color and I, and I use it to take away and add and do everything that I need to finish my pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish coloring this one just so that it's recorded for the process. And uh, I'll just speed it up throughout this process. What I will do too is I'm actually gonna combine all of these layers. Um, I'll combine the sketch down to the color, that way the sketch keeps its uh, current settings um, and it doesn't change anything else. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I merged the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> that one goes down there. And then um, merge those together. Now everything is on one layer and this is how I normally prefer to work but I'll just go ahead and finish blending all of this here together. So basically at this point, I'll be continuing these same steps that I went over with you over and over again to finish the piece. Um, I do keep texture a lot too, so like the roughness from the acrylic brush will often stay on my pieces. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face really quick just so that you can see the process and then uh, we'll go from there. What I'm doing right now is, um, as I usually get further into a piece, I kind of start to get a little loose with laying down the colors, especially shadows, um, before I really start refining it. So this is kind of like the final part of my uh, my color blocking process. And then um, intermixed with doing this, I'll be refining the piece and smoothing it out and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah. just say that this is done um we're, we're to a point where we want to add uh final details final shadows effects and lighting onto the piece so then what i would do is just make a layer on top um let's say that because she's wearing a hat she has a nice big shadow over her face the sun is coming from up top so let's let's just kind of say that that's the scenario here so what i'm going to do is kind of grab like a purple color and um I'm gonna take my brush and cover half of her face and the hair section with it. And then I'll just go ahead and fill that in. And then I'll change that layer uh, blending mode to multiply here. And then that will change that cast to more of like a, uh, like a shadow, <laughs> um, which is the whole point. And then what I'll do then is um, I'll adjust the opacity, make it a little bit lighter, go on top, and with this layer, I'm just gonna act like I'm I'm painting it again. So kind of doing the same thing, doing that color picking method, uh, really trying to integrate this um, multiply layer into the piece, and that's that's literally what I'm gonna be doing. So I just kind of continue it as normal um so i'm gonna go ahead and uh just finish this part up and i will add some glowing effects to it as well just to kind of show you how i do those that way that's included in this tutorial so i'm gonna speed on ahead Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and added those extra shadows, I'm just going to do an additional little tidbit where I'll show you how to add some cool glowy effects to the piece to kind of finish it off, and then uh, that should be it for this tutorial. So first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and create an overlay layer on the top of my piece. And I'm just going to uh, try and make the eyes glow just a little bit more. The next step that I'll do is I'll take the lasso tool and I will draw out uh, like squiggles, like magic squiggles, uh, with that tool and fill it with a color. And then I'll go ahead and do it on the other side as well. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and fill that one in and then I'll add a couple little um, artifacts like extra ones And then I'll fill those in as well Now these wispies are actually on a separate layer. I just forgot to mention that um, What I'll do is I will duplicate this layer 
and then I'll select the bottom layer and add a Gaussian blur to it or Gaussian, however you say it. Okay. And then I will change that blending mode to one that really lights it up. So that could be really any of the blending modes depending on what you want. So I'm gonna play around with that for just a second. I'll speed up this process. Okay, so I went ahead and made the bottom part of the glow effect with the blur a shade and shine blending mode. And then the top part of it was made with an overlay layer and then I went ahead and just added a few extra particles to it. I really like doing this. I think it adds a really cool artistic effect to your work and some really cool magic effects and stuff. So give it a shot and tell me if it works out for you. I really hope that you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a comment below and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.